Hey guys, Mike here and this is the Asus MimoPad Smart, the new 10-inch affordable tablet from Asus. Is it any good and does it have any chance on a market that gets more and more competitive each month? Well, let's go ahead and find out. To start with, let's go over the design. The MimoPad looks pretty much like all the other Asus 10-inch tablets we've seen in the past. However, its back is covered in some fingerprint unfriendly soft plastic and it will be available in several different colors. Grabbing the tablet, you'll feel that it's sturdy and comfortable to hold. The overall shape, the nicely curved edges plus that grippy matte finishing on the back do help here. We could also say that the Mimo Pad is just uh, on the light side as it weighs around 580 grams and with a 10mm waist it's not a ballerina but it's not bulky either. Having a closer look at what's placed on the belly of this tablet, you'll notice a set of stereo speakers, which is a novelty, and a 5 megapixel camera without flash, which is merely standard. Flipping the pad over, you'll find a Gorilla Glass front face plus some sensor and a 1.3 megapixel shooter for video calls on top of the screen. On the sides, Asus placed the standard set of buttons and ports, with a power button on top, a headset jack and a volume rocker on the right, and a microphone, a micro SD card reader, a micro HDMI and a micro USB port on the left. Looks like Asus dumped their proprietary charging connector for the standard micro USB one, which is a great news and they also moved it away from the bottom of the tablet. And that was possible because the Mimo pad does not get a matching keyboard dock like the transformer pads do, which is actually the most notable differences between the two lines of Asus Android tablets. The transformers sell with the dock and the Mimos without. Anyway, let's turn on this slate and focus a bit on the screen. There's nothing out of ordinary here, just a regular 10.1 inch 1280x800 pixel resolution display, but the IPS panel and the small distance between the screen and the glass on top make for a satisfying user experience. Of course, if you're looking for the sharpness you're getting on full HD or higher resolution displays, you won't get that with the MimoPad Smart, but otherwise there's little to complain about its screen. The hardware powering this slate is not impressive either, as the Tegra 3 chip inside is pretty much identical to what Asus offer on their Transformer Pad TF300. But while it's not a power horse by any mean, it gets the job done well in most cases. And to be fair, with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean on board, the Mimo Pad Smart feels snappy and responsive no matter what you're throwing at it. Those being said, the tablet will handle your everyday tasks easily, whether we're talking about browsing, editing texts, gaming or watching movies. And to be frank, I can say that this tablet is showing its full potential when running multimedia content. The good screen and the stereo and punchy speakers have a massive role in this, especially the later, as Asus offers a useful equalizer with some predefined profiles that you can use. One thing you should know though, you're going to feel vibrations caused by the speakers on the backside of the tablet, especially when pumping up the volume, and that was a bit annoying for me. Anyway, if you're interested in some benchmark results and want to see how this tab handles the daily activities, have a look at the next sequences. Alright, back to our review, it's now time to talk some numbers. Battery life and prices. The Mimo Pad Smart will last anywhere from 5 to 9 hours on a charge based on what you're doing on it. The three power profiles can help you extend the battery life when needed, but just to get an idea, you should expect around 5 hours of gaming, 7 hours of mixed use and up to 9 while watching video content. As for how much this tablet is going to cost, well, that I do not know for sure now. Rumors speak of prices between $300 and $400, dollars, 
And I for one am expected something under 350 in the US and maybe 300 euros over here in Europe. We'll see. Anyway, that's about it. I'm not going to focus on the pics or videos you're getting with this camera, they're usable but nothing impressive. I will tell you however that I've encountered no problems with the wireless or GPS systems inside the Mimo Pad Smart and I'm glad I didn't as these were significant issues on some Asus slates in the past. In the end, there's a lot to say about the Asus Mimo Pad Smart and most of these are good. The tablet is beautiful, feels solid and handles well most of your daily tasks. Yes, it's not the sleekest or the most powerful out there and yes, it lacks a high resolution display. But do not forget that we're talking about an affordable slate here that will sell for something around $300. And yes, competitors like the Google Nexus 10 or the Asus Transformer Pad TF300 are alternatives you should consider when shopping for a cheap 10-inch Android tablet. But I really feel that with proper pricing, the Mimo Pad Smart can be an excellent option as well. Alright, and this concludes today's video. If you have any questions or anything you want to know about the Mimo Pad Smart, feel free to leave those in the comments below, I'll be there to reply. Other than that, if you enjoy this content, hopefully you can share and favorite it as it would really help me a bunch. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, well, you might want to do that too. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you around. Cheers!